Hey and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll look at the Surasiki 58.4 volts, 18 amp battery charger. Let's get started. Hi and welcome back. In today's video, as I mentioned, we have this battery charger. Pretty fairly simple and it's a charger which you might need for your 48 volt battery pack for your golf cart or maybe your 48 volt battery in general because you have a setup with the lithium ion phosphate batteries. And 48 volt batteries need a 58.4 volt battery charger that's the maximum it can charge and that's when it stops at one point at 100%. So that's something you have to keep in mind. This charger can put out up to 18 amps. So keep that in mind. So that means 58.4 times 18 amps in around a little bit more than a thousand watt what it can put out. And in our case, we'll test this. So what's in the box, you can see here, it is this charger itself. It's a normal household plug. It does come with a quick connect over here, waterproof. It has some crimped lugs over here, which you can then attach with a bolt to your terminal of your battery or maybe a bus bar, whatever you have laying around. We'll talk about the connection in a second. And we also have this manual here. Actually, this is the manual. This is just the rack and a little user manual, manual about a lithium ion phosphate battery charger. You can actually see that you can disconnect it and you can, if you want to, if you have a quick connect, one of those, um, I don't know what, what they call, but maybe you can connect them. So on top, and that is something very important. And I think we have to point out here, um, here is the net weight as well as the dimensions. And you can bolt it to wherever you want need, wherever you need it and where you want to use it. And this one, we're talking about the top model here and it is IP65 rated. So dust proof almost and water, not completely, um, you cannot submerge it, but you can uh, sprinkle water and maybe up to a little hose of water if necessary. So it's good in your golf golf cart compartment, for example, because that's definitely a thing here in the US. And they claim that this here is a waterproof connector. Let me open this up for you. And when opening it up, just want to show you it has I think that's and that's something to highlight here. It does have this O-ring here, but also down here. And you can see that it's soldered on those terminals in here. So it's maintainable, but also with the O-ring, best possible waterproof, hopefully. Then you tighten that one over here, that one over here, that one back here. And this part should just unbolt. And here we have it. That's how they connect. There's only one way you can connect this. And it's different than those Anderson connectors, what I'm using a lot. Um, so it's different for my setup, uh, depending, maybe you have one of those connectors. Maybe one of you viewers know how they're called. Um, I'll put a link in the description below as soon as I know that. Um, of course, also about this unit as well. And before we start to see if 18 amp is 18 amp, um, like the video if you like that stuff, what I'm doing here with those chargers, batteries, etc. Um, please feel also free to subscribe to the channel so you get a notification as soon as there is something new out. So now I'll set everything up and we'll test the 18 amps. All right, here's my little setup. I connected the charger because it's hardwired, connecting it to my Victron, which goes straight to a battery. Um, I want to measure it up here. I want to make sure that I see both at the same time, very important. I have plugged in everything so for the charger, we have a little indicator light, which is here, this one. We should be able to see this in a little bit, that it's illuminating. And at the same time, on this side, I hope this has the right angle so you can see also the number there. We should be able to see how much it is actually pushing in. That is very important because it should be up to 18 amps. And there is a page dedicated LED indicator just for what those lights are. And I'll get started. I'll just turn it on. You can see here what's happening. We have a red, green, red, green light. Now it is just red and flashing, it looks like. When it's slow, red flashing, fasting charge state. When it's fast red flashing, it is pre-charge state. So it looks like a slow. All right, let me zoom out and let's see. We can see we are getting a little bit less than 18 amps, which is also a little less than 17 amps, getting 16.75, 77, 
amps in there. And by the way, now it's running for a while and it is settled to 16.8 from 16.9. Hope you can see that here on the side a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, it's still charging, doing a great job so far, not overheating, it feels cold. I'm not, I can't touch the fan on accident or anything like that. I think that's very important here that you cannot touch it with your finger. Nice, pretty good, pretty solid. While it is charging, I'm gonna highlight here there are charging modes. And I was talking about pre-charge pre state and then the fast charging state which is great to see in a lithium-ion phosphate battery. Obviously, it needs to be charged the proper way and tries to determine the amperage and everything else, so that's cool. And uh, this, talking about the build quality here as well, since you might install it in a golf cart, it should be stored in a package box when it's not used and whereas temperature should be between minus 40 Celsius to 70 Celsius, which is pretty high, and humidity uh, between five and 95%, it looks like. And also about this uh, charger, warranty time is uh, two years from the date of purchase, which is cool to see, I like that. Of course, no abuse and everything else. Regarding build quality, we have some aluminum or steel here on top, I believe, with a fan here. And everything else is built, um, cast aluminum. That's what it feels like, uh, at least here the housing. Same with the mounting plate. So that's nice and solid. And even those cooling fans, fins here, not fans, those cooling fins, they seem to be doing a pretty good job as well. And uh, it does feel like a solid charger actually. It actually feels good and not like a plastic cheap manufactured housing. So currently we have, okay, here's the conversion rate. All right, it did need a little time to ramp up. We're at 16.9 right now. And this charger requires 1072.8 watts. So that's the efficiency. Now you know what's going on. And for the test, I'll let it run. If there's anything weird, I will report back before finishing this video. And that's where we're at at the moment. So we have to wait until it's full. And then this charger should slow down. So this might take a while, but now you understand what's the efficiency of this battery. And the great part about this is it's IP65 rated charger, so you can always mount it in your golf cart. Uh, link in the description below. Let me know in the comment section below if you need more to see. That's pretty much uh, it for this video, lithium ion phosphate charger for your 48 volt battery pack. Lithium ion phosphate is charging up to 58.4 volts to get it completely full to 100% state of charge. Leave me comments and questions below, and thanks for watching. Cheers!